first the last question um, on first principle that is our KW3 let's say now we are given this one this is 2 over x wow now this one is a fraction and I know very well you take a mobile fraction uh -huh. you know the story let's go back to grade uh, grade 8 whereby you are given something like this minus 2 over 3 what is your final answer here if the question says simplify this okay what you do you multiply these two you say 3 times 2 this is 6 then after that you team a gold match you cross multiply by that two. right which means 3 times 1 this is 3 then you say negative 2 times Obviously, positive 2, this will give you 4 over 6, which means your final answer here would be negative 1 over, over 6. Okay, that is what you did for grade 8. Now, first principle we know, where there is x, you put this, this is 2 over, here is x, you put x plus h. Okay, then let's go to our formula. You copy the formula as it is. This is limit as h approaches zero. Okay, formula echo all over h. Now let's substitute. Okay, this is limit as h approaches zero. Now, where there is this, you know. You put what? 2 over x plus h minus, you have f of x, and you know your f of x, but in this case it's positive, so there's no need to put in bracket. This is x all over h, or I mean over x all over h. And there is a mark for the substitution. Then from here, you now have a fraction. Okay, let's take note here. This is a fraction and also this one. Now let's go back to what we did here. Okay, what we did here is that if you have a fraction, you first multiply the denominators, then you cross multiply. Let's do the same thing. But again, you have this division side and this one. So let's, let's change the two. This now is same as two over x plus h minus 2 over x divided by obviously h over 1. Now this is a fraction. Okay. What we do, you multiply your denominators, this and this one. This would be x into x plus h. Then what next? Timago Bagachuch. You cross multiply. Then if you cross multiply here, this would be 2 times x, obviously this is 2x. Negative 2 times x, this is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive h, this is minus 2h. Obviously, grade, if you have a division sign, you change this one to the multiplication sign, this is what you do. Now you look at uh, the like terms, obviously 2x minus 2x, that will give you 0. And h and h will divide each other. Now we left with what? Now we left with um, limit is h approaches zero. We left with negative two times one. This is negative two over. Let's remove the bracket. X times x. This is x squared. X times h. This is x h. What next? Where there is x now? Where there is um, h, you know, you put zero. Okay, here is your h. And you remove this one now, because you want to put zero there. So your final answer would be obviously negative two over 
x squared plus x where there is h equal to 0 and this will be 2 over x squared that's your final answer this is plus or minus 5 minus so that is all about what we call first principle let's stop there for today then tomorrow we'll be looking at power rules thank you so much